Alright, there we go. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a few days since we've done Animal Crossing, but I'm looking forward to it. Fellas, I'm still, like... I'm still very shooketh after Klonoa. I may or may not do, like... Like, a third stream of that. Because there is some bonus stuff that I haven't done. Like, I might 100% it on my own time to see, like, the rewards. Because, man, I really enjoyed that playthrough. Um, I almost regret doing it as quickly as I did, because now it's all gone, and there's none left, and there hasn't been for 20 years. <laughs> but yeah, how are you guys doing tonight? I know how I've been doing. That, that being... Without drinking water, still. <gasps> Raymond's got a sandwich! Tonight's gonna be a good night, and that's how you know how. Yeah, no, the boil uh, water advisory is still a thing, and boy, it's really getting to me. Griffin's getting very angry. Even as far as like this bottle, this is like half a bottle of water, and this is what I have for the next four hours. I didn't, I did not prepare well. Good evening, everyone. Right now in Yowieville, it's eight twenty-seven p.m. on Sunday, May third, twenty twenty. Oh, we have like one day left of the Earth Day event. Shit. Right now, we're celebrating May Day with a special event. If you're curious, then pay us a visit at Resident Services to learn all- What the fuck are May Day tickets? I haven't been doing this at all. Giving them out is just one way Nook Inc. is trying to give back to this wonderful community. How often do you get to travel to a faraway island for some much-needed rest and relaxation? Though I suppose that sort of describes your day-to-day. -day. Then I'm sure this will be that much more relaxing. Swing by Resident Services to chat with Mr. Nook soon. Now for additional announcements. Has everyone heard about the new art gallery now open at the museum? Oh, so construction already began and finished? Cool. It's a wonderful gallery with space for paintings, sculptures, and more. The museum's intrepid curator, Blathers, accepts art donations all day, every day. But if you'd like to make a donation, please be mindful that there is fake artwork circulating out there. As always, use your best judgment. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you're interested in participating and have the time, please check out with Tom Nook of Resident Services. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Do it if you want. Your stream is your own. It's less... Listen. It's less about whether or not I want to inflict this or that on my stream. Because I'll inflict anything I damn well please. With me, it's more of like a... I don't know. Do I want to... That's a lot of work to do. You know, do I want to do that? Oh boy, this is going to be another 200 bells. Hello? This is Tommy from Nook's Cranny. <laughs> We've sent a payment to your bank account for 352 bells, which you left in the drop-off box. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in the mail. These fucking weeds! What happened to ordinances? Bring back ordinances so I don't have to deal with this. There's my KK synth. There's my bank of nook. Wait, what does this actually say? Wow, a whole 150 barrels. Still rank B, place in pocket. Am I just like getting repeatedly getting the same placard in the mail? New seasonal offerings, okay. And something from Max. Birthday. Oh yeah, Max's birthday was a few days ago. Happy birthday, Max. Why are you giving me a birthday present though? What the fuck does that mean? Again, though, very good stationery. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. So this is from Max. <gasps> a birthday cupcake! Yo, is this shit gluten-free, though? Antique mini table. Wait a second. Is this where I keep getting this random furniture in my inventory and I don't know where it came from? Maybe so. Um, I don't think the cupcake will go bad. I'm just gonna put all that in my house real quick. <laughs> Still no word on the basement. I have a concrete floor from Robin now, so now the the burden is on me to to see my dream through, but I'm not quite there yet. Man, our collection of KK music is really picking up. I love all these album covers. Look at his wig on this one. I love it. And then this can go... I guess I'll sell this, and then this can go in storage. Great! It's your stream. It's your game. Killer. 
Oh, and is all the fruit back? Oh, that's Ed. I thought that was gonna be Savannah. I miss Savannah. Shoot, Savannah would've given me a concrete rug. <laughs> so what exactly do I do for May Day? Because I haven't participated in it at all, you know? Easter is the kind of thing that's, like, <laughs> forced upon you whether you want it or not, but May Day, you actually have to go out of your way to see what it's all about, which I have not done. Murphy. Nick Robinson looking ass. I hate you. I should probably also be, like, fishing and hunting for bugs again. Look at Red hiding out behind that building, waiting for me to approach. Well, let me teach you a lesson, Red. It's not gonna work. Hi, Red. I know that shining face anywhere. How you been, Griffin? You made the right choice buying that off from me earlier. I've had a lot of folks asking about it. Ah, you know, I really gotta be honest. I think I'm falling for Yowieville. I mean, you've got quite a setup going on here, and a lot of art fans. So Yowieville wants art, and I got art to sell. Might be something to this. But I couldn't sell to just anybody. I'd need someone I could trust. Completely. As if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, and because I know you got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Want to look at a few things? I got both art and furniture, plus you get my cousin's discount. You in? I'm in. I love crime. I knew I could count on you, cousin. That is absolutely the right choice. I got my boat anchored off the northern shore, and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Long story. Come have a look at what I'm selling. You won't regret it. Thank you, Red. <gasps> Where'd he go? The dastardly trickster, he's done it again! He's inviting you to his family. I would love to see, like, like a red Thanksgiving. <laughs> his mafia family. Can I give Red a maid dress? A counterfeit maid dress? Because that's how we tell family from family here in Yaoiville. Is Mira talking to Drago? He still better be wearing that fucking maid dress. Speaking of! Guys, I see that green pair of legs. I think he took it off. Why does nobody want to keep wearing it? Whenever I talk to Red, I can feel the knife driving into my stomach before he stabs it. Yeah, that's the best part. Kaijimufu, what are you talking about? I've got to give Drago a talking to. He's the Corrin adjacent one. How could you do this to me? Everybody betray me. Hey, Mira, you like cooking, right? Do you think you could cook for me sometime? Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm always coming up with new recipes. You want a taste test on original? I'm calling it carbonara, Yaoiville style. Oh, wow, yeah, what's in it? Okay, I make a pear sauce, pour it on some carbonara, and hit it with bits of coconut cake. I haven't made it yet, but I think it's gonna rock. Pears and coconut cake on carbonara? Is that really gonna taste good? No idea, but I figure it's gotta be better than my fish and chips. Now that was a disaster. So, you free next Saturday? Sorry, uh, I think I'm gonna be busy, uh, um, hiding from you. You get away from him. Drago! You really want that Dragon Maid anime on your island, please don't say it like that. It's real dark out, also I can't wait for chat to yell at me for saying carbonara, carbonara wrong. I want to chat. Do I have to, like, keep giving them maid dresses until their house is full and they have nowhere to put them but on their person? I'm gonna go real hard today. Gonna play hard, snack hard, yell burn hard! Glad, glad to hear that, Drago. Thank you. Pleasure to see you. Speaking of red, maybe that should be the first stop that we make. Because I don't have all my fruit yet, so I may as well. Although, maybe I should do that after fossils? Because fossils, that's like two trips that I would take the, to the museum. I'm really glad Red is back, because I was about to, to, to cover that hole up without putting bells inside. Uh, put away, and then take out 10,000, and then bury 10,000. That's how you do it. 
But I missed Red. I'm glad he's back in this game. I don't know what I'd do without him. Probably have more money to my name. Uh, let's see. I was seeing if I could, like, more efficiently stack this, but not as it stands. I am so mad about this ramp situation. I cannot believe that I have resigned myself to this. Hold on. Here's what I'm gonna do. New plan part two. Wait a second. I don't know if I can because the path is... It's two units wide, not one. What I was going to do is use my cliffscaping tools. So if I can't have a ramp, I would like carve a path through it. But because of where this tree is, I would have to make it one wide and then through here. And I think that would just look janky. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it seems to me that the problem is more so it's proximity to resident services more than it is Nook's Cranny, so I don't know, maybe there's still a way to to cheese it. To have a ramp work near that spot. Because it's a good spot for a ramp. But clearly not good enough. Maybe what I could do no, that's the same problem as before. I was going to say hey! To have a ramp, maybe like oh fuck, this bench is like kind of in the way. I think if I shake it from this side, they'll come down on the left. There we go. You mind now, you little shit! Wait a second. Oh, there's not really much room to m maneuver, is there? <laughs> hold up, hold up. We go this way, and then face this way, and then hold still, and... Whoa! Hey, there we go. I just have to wait for it to, like, start going up a little bit, and then I got it. Yeah. See what I mean about the apples landing, though? Somebody said that that wasn't going to work with where the bench was. I rest my case. I rest my apple. Apple? I feel like I should make, like, one more orchard's worth of these. Like, two more pears. Not the fruit. Of all of these different fruit types. Because I have a lot of... Whoa. I think that's a new kind of bug. I don't think I've seen that one before. But I've got a lot of empty space uh, with the, this whole cliff situation that I'm working on with my cliffside mansion. And I think that would be a good spot to put a lot of those trees. It is new. I caught a violin beetle. Apparently I'm as fit as a fiddle. That's a good one. I miss these puns. I miss getting new creatures. Wait, did we just hit a bug milestone? Yo, okay. Bugs don't bug me. Wow, 40. Defiant ant. Yo, ain't Defiant Ant that art website? What? Kajumufu, what the fuck do you mean by Delele Whoop? I don't know what that means. Love you, Draco. Never change. Uh, well, that's all the fruit. And I have a, a new bug, which I'll put in the bug corner. And... I want to say that's it as far as daily things I want to sell. I could start hunting for fossils now and then sell the duplicates and the fruit in one run, but... Oh, you know what I'll do first things first? I have to, uh... Place my next bridge. As a part of this. That's what I'll do. I'll get the, the permit for that. No. I'll sell on the way to doing that. So then I'll have more bells to put towards it. And hey, it never hurts to check out what the selection is with Nook's Cranny each day. That's the thing the violin beetle in Pokemon says. Hello, my friends. Apple? Now, is it possible to, to customize this? Because if so, I will buy it. If not, then no. I don't know. I've seen people be put, like, custom textures on, like, computer screens and, like, sheets of paper and stuff like that. So there's a... There's definitely a way to, like, customize it, but I can't seem to find it. Or I'm getting just very unlucky with the specific furniture types. I would like to sell. Oh, I, I still don't have any turnips, because that's just the way I live my life. I don't fuck with turnips. Mm-mm. Oh, you mean Cricketune? Are we, are we talking about Cricketune? I don't know which one that is, but I, I know the name. 
I think I know how to say it. Man, 5x rewards on these. Plant mum seeds? Oh, see, this is... The way I plant flowers is, like, naturally. I just, like, let them spread from existing flowers. I don't see... I don't really see the point in buying seeds. Especially if you can only get, like, stuff that you already have. Or at least I think that's how it... Ah! What the fuck?! What? Ah! Yay! I caught a scorpion. It was a sting operation. Oh, it's May, all right. <laughs> Why? I don't want it. Thank you, Angus. Angus Jail Bars. That's where I'm gonna put this fucking scorpion. <sighs> okay. And now I'm going to fish. Maybe this will be a new kind of fish, too. And it'll be a friendly fish. Not a scorpion, that's for sure. I play this game to relax. Why would they include something like that? Oh! You hearing this rumble? Hot damn! I mean, I'm... I can't be mad. I'm getting a lot of unique things at the moment. Wait a second. Could it be? Is this our first pink windflower? Well, hold on. It's not raining today, so we have to make sure that it's watered. That this... Is maintained. Jail Raymond. No! I am not of the opinion. I am not a Raymond anti. I like Raymond. And I don't like that people have turned on him like this. It's not nice. How many of those are you going to catch on stream? Probably the, probably the same amount of tarantulas, I'd say. Were these, like, lights and curtains always here? No, look, it got wider. Because there used to be a border all the way around. That's neat. And also very interesting that- the, can I not fit through that anymore? I guess not. But also very interesting that they plan for this sort of thing this far in advance, because the museum upgrade wasn't attainable until they put red in. Gay baby jail. Dom over Raymond. Do not say that. Oh look, our- the gallery does go up here. Wow. I guess I'll talk to you about bugs first, though. Hoo-hoo! If it isn't Griffin, thanks to you, the art gallery is now complete. Your very own donations made it all possible, Griffin. So to you, I am most grateful. The entrance to the gallery is but a jaunt up the stairs. Please, do take a gander at your leisure. Hey, Blathers. Blathers, I have something for you. I think it's something you'll really like. God, I don't even like the icon of this thing. Ah! A scorpion! What a wretched thing! Isn't that the over symbol? Well, no, I guess over would be fractions. That's a greater than symbol. Alas, I am obliged to ask. Would you like to learn more? Yes, please. Ah, uh, I see. In that case, <clears throat> the scorpion. How should I put this? Those legs, those pincers, that tail, and that venomous stinger. It's as if someone took all the most awful insect parts and put them together to make the scorpion. All scorpions are venomous, you know. Though I understand that only a few kinds are truly deadly. I fear I might die just thinking about it. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured that these wretched things will get the best of care here. Too bad. Don't too bad me. Violin beetle. Maybe these things are nicer. Hey, you know what I still haven't found? The kind of beetle or cricket or whatever that makes a noise. We, ne we never found cricket gemin in the ground. Are they gone? Is the season for them over? Because I don't think I've heard those things chirping in a while. The violin beetle gets its name from its shape. That is, some think it, rem it resembles the stringed instrument. If you ask me, this is an insult to violins. With its flat body and small head, the violin beetle looks n like nothing but a repulsive bug, plain and simple. In fact, it is so repulsive it oozes a foul liquid when frightened. Ugh, this insect strikes a sour note indeed. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured that the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Thank you, Blathers. Thank you for tolerating this. Hey, speaking of, I haven't seen a single fossil yet on today's... dailies. Wonder where they all went. 
There were, did you guys see that? There was like a very scary split second when I was coming out of the door where my face was very, very dimly lit and it scared me. I really should think of like a way, something to do with like going around all that empty space back there. Cause as is, I don't know. I think I can do better, but we can do better. Oh, <gasps> hi Drago, what do you want? You fucking traitor. Hey, Griffin, guess what? I've got something special for you today. It's a present. Here, take it. Watch it be. He's giving me back the dress. Oh, it's a hat. Made hat? A rain hat. I saw it and thought of you. I hope you like it. Maybe it's just because I rain on everybody's parade. <laughs> Have you seen the horror game based on blathers? What do you mean there's a horror game based on blathers? What does that mean? Blathers isn't scary. Unless you play as blathers and then the bugs scare you, in which case that does sound terrifying. But no, either way, uh, I haven't heard about that. I've got to look for rocks. we got to find the bell rock for today. And I think I broke one or two last time. Because I put the Able Sisters over one rock, and then I broke another, so... I think a few of these have changed positions now. Hmm. Blathers dating sim. Exactly? Exactly what? Which way is it? Is Ed smiling at me, or is he making a move on Mira? I think if it was me, he would say, hey, Griffin, but he's not. Where are you going? Maybe he's doing that white people thing where you like, huh. you know, you make like an mm sound with your mouth. Well, not a sound, but like a shape. Like you're like when you look at someone, your, your mouth just gets like a little bit wider, but it remains closed. You know what I'm talking about? You play as blathers and you deal with bugs. Oh, OK. Also. I know I just floated the idea that I, of making a new orchard, but I guess that's going to have to wait because I just picked all of these peaches and all of the unique fruits that I once had. Also, hi Celeste. I'll come back to you in a second. Like what Morshu does? Mm, maybe. Come back when you're a little... Mm, gate. Guess I'm a brag worm. Oh no, the fish ran away. Ran away. It's very laggy language, but I'll take it. I'll let it slide. Oh, good evening. Aren't the stars just exquisite tonight? I still don't know what you do. Hootie toot! I almost forgot. I came across a recipe for an astronomical project in a book and jotted it down. I'd like you to have it. Do let me know if you try building it, would you? What the hell is this? What the heck is this? It's Fesh Pins, Dad. Will I have a splendid rest of the night? I know I shall. What is it? Shut up, Will. I learned a DIY recipe for a Taurus bathtub. So it's just like regular furniture, but like... Astronomy, astrology themed? Astrology is like... Well, it's Taurus, so maybe it's a... a I already got them confused now. Oh, my head just clipped through the Y and Yowie. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Ah, yes. What a view. Well, here's a fossil. It's so nice to not have to worry about eggs anymore. And I know it's late to say this, but... Man, I'm still pissed off about that, you know? Here's another, okay. There is a rock up here towards like the very, very left of Raymond's little settlement here, so I'll give that a look. Should I, should I be keeping this fence? I don't know, I'm not really a fence guy so far, but I feel like I should be placing those because everybody else is doing it. So what are like some May Day events? Like, 
once I do my dailies here, I want to make sure that I, like, don't miss out on any of that before it's too late, you know? Because, like, okay, I know Leaf shows up, and now there's, like, shrubs and bushes and whatever. Um, but, like, what do you, what do you do? I feel like it's that, like, that fucking Tim and Eric bit where it's, um... What is it? It's like a Cinco computer lawyer? And you, like, put your case into the computer and it tells you whether or not you win the case or not. And then the whole family's gathered around the computer and this one lady keeps asking, But how do you win? And then they explain it to her and she's like, Yeah, but how do you win? That's me at Mayday. There's, like, a Mayday tour or something you can do if you talk to Tom Nook. Yeah, I had no idea I was supposed to visit resident services. I don't know what's up with that, but I guess we'll find out. Because I do still need to ask permission for that bridge. Oh, there's a rock here now? Oh, okay. I've seen, like, some people online who have, like, min-maxed the rock spawning and, like, purposely destroyed them again and again until they get, like, good spawn positions for the rock so that all the rocks are in, like, one garden. A catfish! I'm more of a dogfish person. Ain't that the truth? Because there is Keaton and there is Sidon. Makes you think. God, these weeds are getting out of fucking control. Whenever Leaf comes over, I can finally buy roses and lilies. I think I did buy roses, actually. Or I just saw roses in Robinstown, and now my memory is just telling me that I have roses now. You have a little adventure. You can say that again, Aunt Olivia! It's a shame that, like... A piece of YouTube poop history like that has been unearthed, but there hasn't really been, like, any YouTube poops of that source material. Except, I want to say it was Walrus Guy. Didn't Walrus Guy do, like, like a mini one out of that source material? It was something like that, right? Keaton x Sidon Yaoi. Please. So what, I just get cucked? Probably. Probably. Raymond will remember this. The RSPCA will hear of this. Let's see. So how many fossils do I have? I have four. Um... No, I'll, I'll go over to this... Okay, the order of operations of what I'm about to do here is maybe a little bit stupid, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go into resident services. I'm not gonna ask about the tour. I'm gonna get the bridge permit right now. Then, I'll go to the left half of the island, place the bridge, find the remaining two fossils, then get all that analyzed. And I guess I haven't visited Red. I may. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You're a wise one, Griffin. Yes, yes, May Day is a day where we express our gratitude to those who work hard. Although I suppose my May Day event is more about play than work. My getaway package idea started as a way for folks to escape and enjoy carefree lives on deserted islands. I'm sure you've been enjoying a leisurely island life here as well. However, I can't help but think about all the support I've gotten from our wonderful island residents. It can truly be said that a lot of hard work has gone into making this island great. As a thank you, Nook Inc. has created a special tour for island residents. Yes, yes. I call it the May Day Tour. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the recreational activities I've planned. So take this opportunity to hop on a plane, take a trip, and unwind after all your hard work. I've left a May Day ticket for you at the airport counter. May 7th is the last day you can use it, so take flight whenever you'd like before the event ends. I thought it ended on the 4th, that's good to hear. I think it's everything I wanted to tell you. Did you need me to repeat any of that? No, I'm good. Thank you. What was that? No, Dino Time was the one where it's like... I think it was like a, like some Australian animated movie or something like that. And then they take the trailer voice and, and they... What is it? To die. To sleep. Perchance to dream. And that sleep of what dreams may never come. I definitely misquoted Shakespeare right there, but I tried. That's the bit. Um, no, the one I'm thinking of is like this lost Philips CDI game that was like never released or something like that. But like the cutscenes leaked and the same voice actor for Link, you know, gee, it sure is boring around here. Um, I think it's like Egyptian themed. Yeah, Pyramid Adventures. Um, and he says things like, you can say that again, Aunt Olivia. And his 
his aunt, Olivia, is like, I don't know, an archaeologist, I guess? I don't know why he's along for the ride. Let's take a look at the Anook shopping? Griffin, do you know the story behind Dino Time? I guess not. I guess I don't. What's the story behind Dino Time in 3D? Dino Time in 3D! I feel like I have KK Island. I'm gonna hold off on that one, actually. Uh, and I guess I'll use the ABD as well. So I'm gonna need either 198 or 168,000 bells. So I'm going to make my balance just a flat 200,000. And we'll see where that gets us. So I'm going to withdraw 150. Mm, I don't like seeing that number go down in my balance. I really gotta... I know there's not really a point to work on my- I didn't get the bridge permit. I know there's not really a point to work towards paying off my debt anymore, but I can't help but feel like I still need to do it, you know? I mean, I'm sure you don't get nothing for it, right? I don't know, though. Hi, Tom Nook, I'm sorry. Sorry, one more thing. Also, I totally forgot there's a crafting. I mean, DIY bench here. Uh, let's talk infrastructure. Okay, there's- there's Dino Time lore in chat that I can see from the corner of my eye, but first, let's build a bridge. Yes, yes, Tom Nook, that is what bridges do. Thank you for explaining to me what a bridge is. Oh no, it's not 198,000, so it, it's the same cost as a stone ramp, that being 168. Okay, well that doesn't break the bank as much. Yes, please. Uh, set on location, use the bridge marker kit. Okay, thanks. Thanks, pal. There were trailers for that movie everywhere in US theaters circa 2012, but it never actually released here until like five years later, and it got a new name and was direct to DVD. That's interesting. Is is there any way I can learn more about that, Kaijimafu? Because I, I was not aware of this. Circa 2012. Hmm. For some reason, the only thing that came to mind when I tried to think of things that happened in 2012 was, um, remember the whole Mayan calendar thing? I remember going out on the, the backyard porch in our old house when my dad was still with us, and he was just like, I don't know, just pensively staring off into the sunset. I don't know why I have that memory, <laughs> but that's a, that's a thing that happened. Let's see, so I have to figure out how I want to lay the- Hey, fuck you! Hey, hey, hey! Fuck out of my pond! No fishing in my water, Cody! Fucking bootleg Keaton jacket looking ass! Get, get that shit out of here! Fuck you. I hate you. Oh hey, more bridge money, cool. Speaking of, I don't think I've seen the Bell Rock either, as of yet. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Also, that actually prevented him from fishing. He just got up and walked away. Rude? Not rude. It's Cody and or Kyle. Did you ever think if that counts as talking to them? <gasps> well, I don't think it counts as a friendly interaction either. You know, I don't think he's going to be accepting any maid dresses from me if I tried to give any to him. Which is good because I won't. I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. I think I need it placed. I don't think it's going to allow this. Yeah. The land on either side should be even. Well, that's talking on the left and right, not the top and bottom. I'm going to uh, I'm going to see how close to the cliff I can build it and then go from there because I think I've made this space like too wide. I'm gonna try going down one more. I'm gonna try to make it as narrow as possible. Mm, a little bit more. I'm just gonna see how far I can go until it tells me no. Okay, so I do, it is the right width. So, uh, what'll you be having? The, uh, I do. Uh, let me imagine it. Well, they're still here somehow, so you know, just a thought. Hmm. Then 
thanks for that. Wait a second. I'm gonna say okay for now, because it's as close to the lower waterfall as it can be. But I want to see if this back waterfall can be moved any closer, because... No, I guess not. Take a look at that. I guess you do need, like, the one square. Okay. So, so far, so good. Let's pay the, the man. Let's see. 168,000 bells, and once more, it falls on me to support this entire project on my back alone. I actually had friends that believed the 2012 apocalypse was going to happen and told me about how some mysterious planet will pass Earth and cause everything to explode. Was that anything like the, the Tails doll prophecy? Well, no, that was 2011, not 2012. <laughs> wow, I guess that's the last bridge, huh? All we have left is just the ramp that's gonna go here and then that's it. Mansion time. Speaking of, I'm actually going to put my construction hat on and do a little bit of work relating to this. I keep pressing plus, but I have to go into the Island Designer app first. Uh, start construction. The what? Oh, you know! The Tales Doll Prophecy! I don't even know- I feel like I must have talked about this, like, during- I think all the way back during Sonic 06. No, um... I think, like... That was like baby's first creepypasta back in elementary school. And I think at like one point I was at a friend's sleepover and and they told me like that in 2011 the Sonic world and the Tails doll world or no 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 our world and the Sonic world would collide as a result of the Tails doll and it was like a doomsday prophecy. Oh, you don't know? You haven't heard? But did you guys not notice, like, when it happened? You guys haven't noticed anything's changed since 2011? You guys haven't seen anything different? No? Nothing? Hmm. I guess some of us are just chosen. Speaking of, I know I've got some already existing plans regarding Sonic and Halloween for 2020. Because, I don't know, I feel like October is always a really fun month during these streams. Uh, but... Because in 2019, I did, uh, like, Tails Doll Flash games, and I just remembered that for for this year, I should do, like, Sonic R to, like, continue that alongside a full playthrough of Shadow the Hedgehog. Guys, holy shit, Big the Cat just walked into my house and beat up my dad. Can, can Big the Cat do that to my dad, too, or is Big the Cat also a homophobe? Why would that be an apocalypse that sounds sick? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess if you think about global climate change, that feeling the sunshine maybe isn't the best thing. Alan Wake 2. Isn't that what Remedy... I, aren't there like some rumors that that's what Remedy is finally working on next now? Wasn't there going to be an Alan Wake TV show? Is that still happening? I don't know what the fuck that's going to be on. For some reason, I want to say ABC, but wherever it is, I, I need to see it. He's on his way, don't worry. I'm just going to finish this, like, um, row of uh, cliff bits, and then I'll move on. I'll just do, like, a little bit at a time, I think, rather than doing this as a giant project all at once. Because again, ramps and bridges are still underway, so I guess there's not really a rush. I'm just gonna turn this off again real quick. Yes, please. I think the comics actually say that he straight up loves everyone as long as they aren't mean and beats up anyone who is not. So he's not a homophobe. Yeah, the Alan Wake show is releasing the same day as the Sly Cooper show. The what?! Wait, Sherb isn't home. Or he's asleep. He's out on a snack run. Cute. Can I talk to Wolfgang? Can I give Wolfgang a maid dress yet? I've tried so hard to befriend this man, and still... I forgot that I was even looking for these. So that makes five out of six for today, right? Because I haven't done Animal Crossing in a few days. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I've got the Bell Rock, too. 
and the Klonoa movie. <laughs> Not funny. It's too soon. Too soon. God, I wish that crafting bench were me. I mean DIY bench. Once I start something, I gotta keep it going till it's done. Guess I'm getting more stubborn with age. What are you doing? What, this thing? I'm making a fruit wreath. It's tough, but I've got ages of patience. Reckon you need that to be into DIY. Wanna try making the fruit wreath I came up with? Here, I can run you through the basics. Ain't nothing to it. Yes, please. I like how you can decline him. If you need instructions... Thank you, Wolfgang. But can we, like, talk? <gasps> we can! We can give him the maid dress! What's the latest? So, Griffin, did you hear from the Happy Home Academy yet? They weren't impressed by me. <gasps> Those fuckers! I'm very sorry to hear that. Guys, we gotta get another maid dress and also order some more from Nook Shopping, because apparently the ones that I've given to my neighbors so far have all gone to waste. Oh boy. Here goes. Oh wait, I keep forgetting that there's two cliffs I have to climb down here. Because even at the tallest the camera goes, it doesn't show you until you get to the bottom and then open the menu like that. Is it actually open or does Red need to fix the leaks? Oh my god, it's open. Here we go! Oh. This is it, Luigi! Oh my god, it's so dark and dingy. Hey, Griffin! I'm so glad you made it! So, here's the pitch. Ready? At Jolly Red's Treasure Trollo, we sell only the finest. And there's nothing finer than fine art and rare furniture, am I right? Of course, I can't let all these fine things just walk out the door. I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. <gasps> it's a hassle, I know. But I hope the cousin's discount will make up for it. My plan was just to buy all the art every single day. Plus, I'll let you buy all the furniture you want. No questions asked. So, take a look around. We got masterpieces by the great masters, plus stuff for your master bedroom. Let me know if you have any questions. I like that his tail wags. Oh boy. I hope I know what I'm doing. This is the... <laughs> this is the part where I say that I studied classic art, but I don't know if I studied it this much. Wait a second, I think I know this one. I think I know this one. Let's have a look. I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking me about buying that jolly paint in there. But maybe the price scared them off, so I'll sell it to you for 4,980 bells. Deal of the spring, you in? I want, yeah, a closer look, thanks, okay. So with, with the false paintings, it's there's like a little photoshopped edit or something, right? So far, I want to say that this is authentic, but I'm going to let chat catch up real quick. I like how the boat is lit so it's harder to spot the fakes. Watch out for the haunted art. Is this a haunted ship? Admiring the detail, can't blame you. It's extremely detailed. Brilliant stuff. I like that when you talk to Red, it actually sounds close to the real Megalovania. Does it? I've kind of like blocked it out of my ears at this point. And the best part? All oh, that detail could be yours for just 4,980 bells. Uh, I don't know. I understand, I understand. It's a lot to take in all at once. No rush. So, can there be multiple real paintings per day, or is only one of these real? Also, is this like a painting, or is this supposed to be like... Like furniture that goes on a wall? Wait, let me see it again. Sure, let me just talk to Red first so it makes the thing. Did he make the jingle, or do I have just stupid ears? Let me tell you, selling art is a tough business. The other day, someone came aboard and accused me of selling him a fake, and wanted a refund. Can you believe it? Alright, so firstly, word of mouth is everything is in this... Oh, hold on. So firstly, word of mouth is everything in this business. That kind of talk could sink me. Secondly, we don't take complaints here. Those are for our complaints department, whose number I forget. And thirdly, it clearly states in the delivery slip that all sales are final. No refunds. So I don't know what their problem was. I mean, how was it my fault they didn't know what they were buying? You said it, Red. I think it only plays the first time you talk to him after walking in. Oh, so it's like the, the Nooklings. This isn't the correct painting that I was looking at. Wow, you really know your art. You can just feel the aura on that quaint painting, huh? I mean, you couldn't buy that kind of aura. Well, you could. And should. 
and let me help you out. With my cousin's discount, okay, so these seem to all cost the same. Let me get a closer look here. I feel like I recognize this one as well. Let's see, what, 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 what's the sort of thing that would be different about this? What looks out of place? Does she not have legs or is she wearing like two dresses, two like skirts on top of each other? It's fake, yeah, it's fake. This painting? The one that I was looking at earlier? With the fruits and vegetables? What's fake about it? That one is real? Well, let me get a closer look at the supposed fake then. Boy, this one fooled me. I guess th these are just really good edits. What's different from the, from the uh, original painting? Let me have a look at, at some of these other ones, though. But it's good to know that this one's real. I don't know what I would do without you guys. Let's see. You know, I catch myself staring at that serene painting a lot. Honestly, I just wish someone would buy it so I can get some more work done. I really shouldn't. But I'm gonna add the Yaiville discount on top of the Cousins discount. That'll bring the price all the way down to 4,980 bells. I want a closer look. Fruit is a fake, lady pouring is real. I think this one's fake. I think this one's fake. I think the animals, something's wrong about the animal. It's missing a thing from his shirt? Possibly. Let's take a look at this one. The warm painting. Believe it or not, that's actually my favorite piece in here. I really don't want to sell it, but it's you. Okay, on top of the cousin's discount and Yaiville discount, I'll waive shipping too. That drags the price down. <laughs> They're all the same. Uh, I want a closer look. I love this guy. Let's see. Maybe it's her feet? Maybe it's... Hmm... I don't know, something about these feet don't look right, but... Maybe it's the clothes? Is it the eyebrows or the bangs, maybe? I mean, I know that I'm only gonna be buying the real one to the very, very far right, but I just wanna know, like, in what ways all these others are faked, you know? Because I think the, the editing of these is, is really interesting to me. Wait, that one's that one. Wait, so there can be multiple real paintings per day? Shit. But don't, don't they change the selection every day? Oh, man. I mean, they all cost the same, though. Hmm. What am I going to do? I fucking love the lighting on, like, his fur. It makes him look like a, like a dirty plushie. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this one, because unlike the fantasy of a woman in bed, which I do not have, this is a, a fantasy of what I would assume is drinking water, which is something that I want but do not have. So you got a deal. Ha! <laughs> you are not gonna regret this. I'll just uh, take those bells from you. Yep, it's all there. Congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a quaint painting. A quainting, if you will. Been a pleasure doing business with you, cousin. I'll get your art packed up and shipped out tomorrow. Oh, I thought it would just actually carry it home, but I guess not. True patron of the arts. Collecting artwork contributes to the cultural quality of Yaiville, and Nook Inc. will give miles to folks who prove themselves discerning connoisseurs. Shady seller. Shady pet. It's been so long since I've actually, like, changed... My passport? You won't regret it! But I should look at like some of the new descriptive terms that I have now. Look at all this pollution. Of course it's a fucking junker. Alright, let me scooch around here. We've got one more fossil before we take all of this to blather, so I want to make sure I find where that is before I um get to selling. And, there it is. Don't know what the hell Ed is doing here, but... Yeah, and we gotta stop for a maid dress for Wolfgang as well. Alright, that makes six. Let's go see the Blathers and then inevitably de be disappointed when he tells us that all of them are fakes.
I'm sorry, fake fossils, fake paintings? I'm sorry, duplicates is what I'm looking for. Fake fossils. You know what? We've got new plesiosaur lore now, plesio lore if you will, so I bet, maybe, fake fossils are a thing. Is this another new kind of bug? No, this is a... Cello beetle? Violin beetle? Oh, Able Scissors is closed! But I don't think they have, like, daily selections. I think they only have, like, every now and again. So I don't think I missed anything that time. There we go. Okay, so... I need to go to the museum first. Then I'll get to selling. And I've already paid off the bridge, so that's good to go. Hi, Gale. Maybe what would help villagers moving away... No, we have new Spinosaurus lore. Of course, I'm sorry. Might there be something with which... Yes, yes, there is, Blathers. This is why we have you, Kaijimafu. Oh, cool! How many of them are new? Spinoloris. Yeah. Um, make a donation. <laughs> Dinosaur track? Oh, like a print. Could it be? Well, how do you... How, yeah, how do you give a presentation on a dinosaur track? I don't know. One time a dinosaur stepped here. The end. Dinosaur tracks are fossilized footprints left on the bottom of the sea or on soft earth. From these fossils, we can deduce the creature's territory range as well as its relationship with its herd. It has even become possible to work out the creature's size, distinctive gait, and, shockingly, walking speed. These trace fossils are like social media feeds, enabling us to follow the daily lives of the dinosaurs. And there you have it. Well, I guess he did it. He found a way to explain it. I don't know. I'm a little bit torn because I like having lots of new stuff to donate, but at the same time, the more duplicates I have, the more bells I make. And I did, ju I did just spend 168,000 bells on a bridge after already spending that amount twice on another bridge and another ramp, and I'm going to have to spend it a fourth time for the final ramp. And God knows what else. I should probably spend bells to buy items. Yeah, I should also use the, um... The ABD to, um... What am I trying to say here? To get more maid dresses. And... I think that's the only reason I'm here right now. Can't believe you tricked that owl into displaying feed pics in the museum. Oh, I'm sure that's a painting they'll display sooner or later. Uh, ABD. Wait a second. The ABD is the bank, though. So I actually want... Nook shopping. There we go. And then I need to order, like, whatever the maximum amount of main dresses is so I can give it to Wolfgang. I think Wolfgang is gonna w wear it very well. Oh, there's a Mother's Day mug. Interesting. Also, this is the wrong page. I need to look at fashion items that I've already obtained. Let's see here. Oh, so this is alphabetical, so I gotta go to M. Oh, yeah. M! Place order. Place order. Place order. Place order. Great. And I think you can only order up to five things a day, right? So that's all I can do for the time being. Wait a second. I never checked if that, um, the KK slider thing that's in the catalog today is new or not. And I forgot that I'm going to spend these points. That's why I'm here. That's the reason I came here. To spend the Nook Miles on the remaining, um, path options for the construction. Because I'm getting quite the excess of these now, and I don't, know, I don't know what else I would be doing with these, if not that. 2,000 miles. Yes, please. I guess I could, like, start doing, like, those bell tickets. It's been a while, but those do come in really handy. I don't know if I'm going to do that on stream, because buying 10 of them takes ages, but... Wait, why did it kick me out? I can't just buy them all in a row. I have to turn it off and on every single time. It's a good thing I don't have too many of these left, I suppose. Dark Path. 
I wonder if I should use like a different path type for the road leading up to my mansion. Which I guess it's too late to be considering that now because I have stone bridges and stone ramps which are designed to match the path. So I guess no, I, I can't, I don't have a choice. Um, let's see, redeem enough miles though. I don't know, I think like some of this stuff could definitely go with like different kinds of bridges, for sure. And there we go. And now I have 7,000 of these to do with what I please. You know what? It might be a better idea to, to keep holding on to these, because eventually, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but one of those bears is going to eventually, mercifully, leave. And then that'll be the time. Because as I've learned, whether or not you actually ask a new villager to move in, that kind of just gets decided for you. And then you, you just get a random villager, even if you don't invite anybody. Meaning that as soon as one of the bears leave, I have a very limited amount of time to start hunting for Apollo. So I should save as, as many tickets as I possibly can to achieve that. I'm just gonna remove some of these cliffs really quickly while I'm here, and then I'm gonna get to selling. And then maybe I will chop like a one wide thing into here, and maybe I'll do that. God, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can make this, like, a little valley that you go through. I've seen people do things like that. Maybe I can get away with that. I really don't know. Um, what, what, what was I gonna do? Right, I need to sell all my fossils and whatnot now. Down at the cranny. Yeah, I could put, I could build a cranny beside the cranny. There we go. Alright, let's see what this totals up to. I don't like how Timmy always takes the lead and then Tommy is always the quiet one. I think it would it would be nice if he opened up, you know? We're sitting on peaches, we got oarfish, hell yeah, we got catfish, cherries, you name it. There's gonna be plenty of bells. Oh, that actually takes us to 100,000, meaning that I'm gonna have to visit resident services one more time to make a teensy, teensy little deposit at the ABD, which is actually something that I do need to be doing for real this time. Let's see. So for the May Day tickets, is that similar? What I need, like an empty inventory, is that the sort of thing where you do like lots of fishing and catching bugs and stuff, or would it be different? A fruit wreath. Neat. Let's see, so I'll deposit my bells, give Wolfgang a maid dress, and we'll be on our way. Uh, ABD. It's not the full amount that we just withdrew to pay for that bridge, but it'll at least pay for one more ramp. You know, it, it, it's a start. I really gotta start doing, like, off-stream uh, farming of resources more often, though. Because whatever reserve that I've built up over the years, I feel like is, is beginning to uh, run out for sure. While I'm waiting for an answer on that May Day trip information, I'm gonna resume placing these paths. Stone path. It's a stone! Wait, can you not connect these to the stairs? That's kind of bullshit. Can you really not? Aw, oh, man! That really sucks. All right, I guess. Can I connect it to this? Wait, well, so what's the point? Uh. No, I don't want to talk to you. Good evening, I know. You hit the goal. You hit the Kickstarter goal. I'm just trying to like, there we go, place in front of him and do what I can for the time being. I might make this a little bit wider again, because I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it going all the way up to the very, very edge of the cliff like this. You know what I mean? Boy, I feel like this is really janky. Not being able to connect the stone path to the stone stairs. 
I don't know why it's like that, that they would make that consideration for the bridges, but not for the stairs, you know what I mean? I'll just like plant this a single square above. And hey, I remember to use the, the shovel instead of my bare hands this time. So now I'm not paying the price. Yo, balloon time! It's been a hot minute. I mean, I guess the best that I can do is maybe just like clear this up and then round this path off or something. I don't know. You know, I'll do the same here. Well, this actually connects to the bridge, so I won't do that. But it's it's a start. Bells, please. Oh, that's right. Popping a balloon is actually a goal for today as well. And I guess I'll take a picture. Hey, so question, is is Red's shop open all hours of the day, or does it have a closing time like the other shops do? Also, didn't I plant like a bet? Yeah, there it is. That's the one that I planted. Not quite ready, but almost. Apple? Yeah, I'll sell this and the, um the peaches right now before I get too sidetracked and Nook's Cranny ends up closing, because these are worth a solid chunk. As are coconuts! I need to get the coconuts! I'll do that too. And seashells? Oh man. Let me double check actually and see if selling seashells. No. Bugs and fish are though. Catch a crawfish. No thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I used to be like all over collecting seashells. See collecting seashells. But that's kind of just escaped me for some reason. And I don't know why. I mean, it's never been like a blathers kind of thing where there's any other purpose besides selling them. I guess you could argue that they have a purpose as far as like crafting goes. I think there are some recipes that do use these, but honestly, it's been so long since I've been able to craft anything like, you get a recipe here and there, but it's the progress at which you acquire furniture or furniture recipes, at least for me, has been really, really slow. But I guess when you look at towns like Robins, it's that's probably more my fault than it is the pacing of the game. Or maybe Robin's a dirty time traveler, but who knows? I'm just throwing ideas out there. From what I've seen, it's always open, but it's only around on certain days. Okay, so... Yeah, because there was- wasn't there like another day where Red was in town but nobody was at the beach or something like that? Or maybe I'm misremembering, but yeah. And while I'm here, I keep- I keep saying it aloud, but I've yet to get a maid dress to give to Wolfgang, which does need to happen. And maybe I'll get a little bit of fishing in. Who knows? Guys- I think scorpions are worse than the tarantulas, in my humble opinion. You know? I mean, they're both scary, don't get me wrong, and I hate them all. But I feel like it was, you know, just getting used to the ranchos. And I know they're functionally the same, but I just don't like it. Thank you, Gale. Thank you for supporting me. In these trying times. In these uncertain times. They're harder to farm for? Oh, so do the scorpions have like different spawning conditions than the ranchos did then? Is it not possible to make a, 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 a scorpion island, as they say? There was a fish here that I did not catch that ran away, and I will not let the same thing happen twice. I mean, I'm sure sooner or later somebody's gonna find out what those conditions are. And then find a way to cheese it. Guys, do you, is it? Hold on. Why is there like a perfect square off to the side here? Like in the water, do you see that? Either that's like the shape of a rock, but the other rocks are like at much different angles. 
Like, it looks like that's just where the ground tiles end there or something. I don't know. I'm surprised the camera isn't able to look further in that direction, but I guess it makes sense as to why that is. Let's see. Maid dress, Wolfgang, right. God, I guess I'm gonna have to have to demolish that one too. Like this game makes me feel bad for committing to anything early on with early things because the price you have to pay when you get the ability to do what you wanted to do the whole time but only later on is like <laughs> really driving me crazy. I don't know, but I'm farming them right now and they seem to spawn a lot less. Hmm. Well, that's great to know as somebody who is regularly struggling to make bells. Bamboo doll. So I guess that wasn't bells, but I can sell it for some. Okay, let me, let me make sure that I have the, the island one here. I do have KK Island. See, so it's a good thing that I didn't buy that. Poor bastard that I am. I'll put these in storage too, though. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the maid dress! While I'm doing this, though, I'm, I am gonna ask one more time if I need, like, fresh tools for the May Day thing, or if it's, like, a different sort of thing. Because right now I'm assuming it's just, like, an I like an island trip, but, like, with a different coat of paint, and maybe you find different Earth Day-themed things. I don't know why I keep saying Earth Day instead of, instead of May Day. Probably because that's what I associate Leaf with, but... I just want to make sure that I don't have, like, a full inventory, and then I go there and make a mistake or something, you know? I can't believe I'm running so low on main dresses already. You really hate to see it. These ungrateful bastards in my village. Fuck you, Murphy. Fuck you, Murphy. Yeah, why don't you become a video game journalist, asshole? I'm surprised the, um, green flowers, like, they haven't spread, but the purple ones are kind of doing that around it. Or maybe it's just a yellow one under weird lighting. I don't know, it looks different to me. This is not Wolfgang, this is Ed. One more house over. And so it begins. You know what? I'm happy with Wolfgang. He wasn't somebody I was actively hunting for, but I'm very pleasantly surprised to have him here. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm done building. My cliff dreams are gonna have to wait, I suppose, one or two more days. Really wanna talk to me this much? I ain't gonna complain, Snarl. Do you want this? Hmm? You have something to give me? Why, yes I do. How funny, you should ask. No way! You're giving me... a maid dress? Guess I'll give this a try right now. <gasps> Look at him! Thanks, I feel spiffier already! Ain't nothing free in this world, so as a thank you, have a relay tank. A what now? Oh! I thought he meant, like, a fish tank. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Please don't take it off. <laughs> Someone's got to eventually, you know, if I keep trying, eventually genuinely like it and keep it instead of just trying to be nice and placate me, you know? Sherb is still missing. I haven't seen him all day. Maybe he's in the museum checking out the new art gallery or something, which I should do as well, but... Preferably when I have more paintings, you know what I mean? Let's see, I've already stripped the beach of its shells, so I guess I'll stop by Nook's Cranny and then see what these tickets are all about. I didn't get, um, anybody telling me whether or not, like, what this May Day vacation thingy is, but just in case I'm gonna go there with an empty inventory, just to make sure. Although, with my luck, I should... It's gonna be like, what? You didn't come here with a full inventory? Guess you're fucked. Also, I should not be putting things in the box when the store is still open. 
That was a really close call. <laughs> okay, kids. Seeing it works this time because these are kids. Come. Let me sell you. Oh, I forgot the clay. Fuck it, I'm selling it. I don't even want to make the trip back to my house. And that adds up to 12,000. Not bad at all. Alright, which means my inventory is empty. I probably have a lot of tools that are about to break, but we'll see what I can do. I don't even remember when the last time I visited the airport was. I mean, I do, because it was yesterday to visit Robin, but in terms of, like, going on, like, an actual island vacation, you know? Because, um... Going there for resources is one thing, and it is helpful to farm for bells through that method, but... There aren't going to be any villagers that spawn on those islands until I get the bears out, so... It's going to be a while. Good timing. I got a Mayday ticket something something something. I want to fly. Use Mayday ticket? Wait a second, so it's like a regular island ticket? Can you get multiple Mayday tickets or can you only get the one? This Mayday tour is a special trip to a faraway island. It's all organized by Tom Nook. As to what awaits you there, you'll have to find out when you land. For this tour, you'll have to go empty-handed. Oh, we'll hold on to all of your belongings here at the counter. See, that would have been good to know in advance, chat! Don't worry, we'll be sure to return them when you get back. So, want to stow your luggage and head out on the Mayday tour? This sounds scary. Time for takeoff, but... Imagine if you go on a real flight to a desert island and they say, Sorry, you can't bring any luggage. This sounds like begging for a stranding. I don't trust like this. Something's off about all this. But I guess now I know full inventory or empty inventory, I can't go wrong considering they take everything either way. Oh, the islands have bushes now. Cool. And we have touched down you are at our May your Mayday tour destination. Now, this tour is different than most. Whole Island's a giant maze! Nothing an aerial view wouldn't help, but that's not why we're here. This is a navigation tour, you copy? The point is to find your way through? Tom Nook's gonna hunt you for sport. We've stored your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll start this mission with empty wings. Or, uh, hands. We big shot bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick. But you groundbound goslings will have to zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to reach your target. If you get stuck or grounded or lost in a fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. What the fuck a fog bank? Is that like an analogy or is that something we're actually going to be in for? Our whiskered allies will reset things so you can refuel, regroup, and restart the maze. And if you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So, time to get going. Right about November, Oscar Whisker. Good luck and wheels up. What? Oh, it's like a hedge maze. What does the sign say? Oh, I think this is decorative. I can't, I'm gonna rip it from the fucking ground. Shovel. Interesting. So I'm assuming that lets me, like, become able to dig up certain things like this? Yo! And then you eat the pears to, like, move trees and shit. Interesting. Interesting! I like where this is going. Okay. Well, I don't need pears to dig these up, so I'll do this first things first. Oh, but look at this. There's a hole. So this is a shortcut back when you get later on in the maze, but for now it looks like all I can do, same in this direction, is eat the pear and move the tree. Alright, I had no idea that this is what we were going to be in for tonight, but I'm kind of here for it. Also, I did not know that this like little hollow shape is what you get when you um make a 2x2 two two thing of hedges, but that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to need a pair to get those two pairs. 
Oh, look, you can only go in a straight line with these. That's cool. Is there, a, like, a crafting bench? I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Wait, there's a villager! Wait, am I wrong? Can I replace Kyle and Cody and Murphy and whatever sooner than I thought? Wait a second. Now I'm back where I started. God damn it. But I guess I can also go this way? Hmm. I'm actually gonna go because I don't want to spoil myself, but have fun. Alright, thanks for stopping by, Turbo Marisa. Wait, am I lined up now? Oh, look at that. There we go. Now I have Steak. These pears are actually an incredibly valuable resource. I wish I... was able to get to any of these. Because look, now I don't have anything. But I guess there's no way to prepare for this because... Oh, I see there's another tool down here. Because they take all of your things, so it's not like I could bring a ton of fruit. I, maybe if I ate a ton of fruit and then went on this trip, I could cheese it? Because I don't think they can forcibly empty my stomach, but who knows what they're capable of. This reminds me of Link's Awakening. Hey, I totally forgot that that, that, that got a remake on Switch. Is that fucked up or what? Um, okay. There's a pair in, like, clear sight right here, but... And now I'm back where I'm start- where I, where I am started. Wait, so the arrow is pointing towards that villager, so you- you get a villager as a reward? For reaching the end of the maze? Interesting. Let's see. So if I want to get to that pear- hold on, what's the tool that I just got? Was that a second shovel? No, it's an axe, so I can chop down the trees now without needing any pears. That's how they get you. Wait, how do I... This is like the non-regular path, but I want to get back on the regular path so I can start fucking with the trees again. Probably should have clued in on that a little bit sooner. <gasps> oh, but they're designed to break instantly. It's a worn axe. I see. But now these pears and possibly these sticks, depending if there are any benches are a really valuable resource. So is it possible to get everything on the island, or do you have to like pick and choose what rewards you want? I'm gonna try to go for as many pairs as I can get first things first though. Like, hold on, if I... So you get one pair and one recipe for that, and there is a crafting bench here, DIY bench. So it's, you, it's definitely doable. You can make something out of this. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I'll go to the bench first and see what I can make. Ah, uh, but you can. Let's see. Well, no more axe. I guess the point of that is to save you a pair, maybe. But I can do this now, so that's good. And not to jinx myself, but the shovel doesn't seem to be breaking anytime soon, so that's also a good sign. Uh, if I cross over here, I break that, and then I get iron, which is pretty valuable as far as tool crafting goes. Um, hmm. If there's one thing I know how to do, it's how to break rocks, so that might be what I try and go for. But I'll get the recipe here, too. Does it say worn shovel? No, it just says normal shovel, so I think we're fine. You're able to get everything on the island? Okay, that's really good to know. So you fuckers did know whether or not I was able to do things like this. When I was asking questions about how I should prepare. Alright, so I can start making tools now, so that's really good news. So, I guess I'll want to make an Axe? I don't know if I have exactly what I need for something like that, but I'll check. Let's see. Let's craft. Because it'll just say whether or not I can. Ooh, I can only make a flimsy axe. I'm going to need an iron nugget. Well, and also a flimsy axe. First things first. So I'm going to have to get that iron nugget. So are these randomly generated, or is it the same maze? 
And can I do it multiple times to get different mazes? Because if so, this is actually a very fun event and I would like to do more than one of these, but we will see. Boy, this is a lot of bell tickets too. I'm very excited about that fact. I'm still not able to get myself vertically aligned with any of those left ones. So first things first, I think what I should do is try to work towards that iron nugget because that seems like the, the, the next biggest thing that, that I'm going to need at this moment. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. I think I kind of had it right the first time. I feel like I'm playing a block-pushing puzzle, but I'm the block. There we go! Now that's what I call a nugget. So how do I get those tickets down there, I wonder, though? Because I haven't seen any entrances to or from that. Should I eat this? I'm going to make the axe and then rely on the pears. Because I feel like my pears are like my last resort. So I just want to make sure I don't like get myself stuck in it at any sort of dead end. I think I'm able to... No, not yet, not yet. I have to do it the long way around. You can only do it once, and the layout is set, unfortunately. Oh, this is very fun, though. Boy, and there's three trees right at the end there, huh? Wait, so why did I want to be here? I think so I can hop this and access the bench? Unless that's through here. No, that's all the way. Okay, so you go across these three. And then you're good. You know, I'm taller than these hedges. I don't see what the big deal is. There we go. <laughs> and they give you exactly the materials you need to make it, too. All done. Well, now I'm fucking unstoppable. No pairs needed. So that's good. I wonder if I can keep these tools, because, you know, why not? I could probably use a standard axe, I bet. God, I really did miss this island music, though, for sure. Let's see, so I think you go down, and then that lets you go across this, and then axe time. You damn dirty homos! Stay off of our axe! Pear? Wait, but this is the end of the maze! I don't want to leave yet, I don't think. Because there's, like, all these tickets everywhere. If I beat the maze, is it going to kick me out? I'm going to keep looking around just, like, a little bit longer. Just to make sure that, I'm, that I don't accidentally leave anything behind. Because I've opened up all the roots now, I think. And I have a lot of pairs. So if I do this... Yeah, I'm gonna try and, like, exit the maze. Because there's gotta be an entrance to those. So you need... to break a stone to do that one? That doesn't seem so hard. There's a lot of, like, winding and backtracking to get to certain things, but I think I can make do. I think, I, like, I know what's where, at the very least. Wait a second. Hold on, let me let me dig up this shrub here. Do you have to get onto the beach to access that? So maybe after you beat the maze, that's how you do it. And I have... This is why you want to save your pears. Shit. I might not have enough, actually. Oh no. And there's not pears next to that guy over there. No! You have to talk to the pilot to leave. Really? Is it so? Man, what are these recipes for, by the way? Come to think of it. Flimsy axe. Axe. Oh, I guess in case you didn't... No. Well, then that's fucking useless. Why did I go for those? Oh. 
That's a lot of tickets. Isn't that like 15,000 bells right there? Just sitting in a little pile like that? Mm. That really hurts. That doesn't feel so good. Wait a second, I'm confused. Uh-oh. Uh, let me think about this. So if I want... No, I'm on the right track. You have to go down on the, this left one, then you zip across. Then you go over the stump and that gets you through. Don't worry, if you use the rescue app, you can reset the maze and get everything. Well, what happens if I talk to the villager? Do I keep what I've gotten so far? Or does it... Like, erase my progress as well. I'm just going to keep this put away so I don't have to toggle it every time I try to sit on something. You know, before I even do anything, I'm just going to dig up this one shrub and go for these tickets. Wait a second, these are new flower types too. I don't have those flowers. If I can keep the tickets, I assume that I can keep this. Who are you? <gasps> Rover! You made it to the goal! Have we met before? Oh! Oh, Rover, I missed you! And here, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Red. I've, I've got a new man in my life now. You seem kind of familiar, but... Oh, sorry. I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. It's a, a pretty weird island, isn't it? What brings you here anyways? But wait, so what is, what is Rover's job, though, now that Isabel has replaced him? Unjustly, Tom Nook sent me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here, too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. He's trying to set us up on a date. And let me tell you, it's working. He told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island, and I should check it out. But I didn't expect to find a maze. Mia ha 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 what a surprise! So, if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? Oh, please come to my island, Rover, please! It sure does! Please replace my bears! I hear Nook's been putting a ton of work into that place. What was it called again? Oh yeah, Yallyville, right? Ding ding ding. Mia ha 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 -er. I knew it! Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know. If all you island folks are this much fun- Oh, <gasps> please! Please! I bet Yallyville's great! You got a name, by the way? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Griffin, eh? Great name, great name. I'm glad we met, Griffin. I want to commemorate this occasion by giving you a gift. Rover, you're my gift. It's so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have this much fun here. One thing's for sure. I'm hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. That didn't sound like he's coming to my town. It sounds like he's teasing me. Oh, Do I not get to keep him? At least to get a shortcut back now. But wait, so is there a north beach that I can go around on? Or is there another way to get to those three thingies? Are there any, like, fish or palm trees or anything? No, not from what I can tell. And look at this. This is how they get you. There isn't a North Beach, because there never is. I don't know why I thought that that was the case. But if you dig these shrubs, there is a secret sneaky way around. Yo, hold up. I just want to say shout out to Cheeseburgers. That sounds like the kind of thing Rover would say, and so I agree. I'm not going to have enough pairs to do this, though. Shit. So you need to, like, save three... I guess that's why you would want to get the axe as soon as possible, maybe? Yeah, at some point, I, I I must have used a pair that I shouldn't have used. I'm very greedy, though, so I am going to use the SOS feature. Which I don't think I've ever, ever used, but let's find out. Hello! Thanks for your call. You've reached the rescue service hotline. Let's see, you are... I got it. This is Griffin of Yallyville, right? 
Hey pal, you're a first time user, right? Let me lay out the nuts and bolts of the service for you. We're here to help you out when you get yourself stuck somewhere. Give us a call and faster than you can say Earthworth Sandwich, we transport you in to someplace nice and safe. Revolutionary tech. How's it work? Trade secret, you nosy noodle. Seriously, leave it alone. Fee structure is simple. A single rescue will cost you 100 miles. That's 100 nook miles. What do you say? Yes, help. Help! Shout out to Robert. Is that a villager? I don't know a Robert, but I bet he's cool. Where the planes land so you can start over. Yes, please. See, but is that going to like bring all the trees back and take everything that I did so far? Also, isn't this Rossetti's theme? Was I on the phone with Rossetti? I guess nobody's seen him either. The island's been reset back to the way it was, so feel free to attempt the maze mission again if you'd like. I don't know if I'd say I'm necessarily stuck, but yeah, I could use another run at this. Okay, so. Are there any non-essential trees that I used a pair to remove from the ground? That's the first question that we gotta ask here. I mean, clearly I did, or I was like on a stone or something. See, but now that I know that the axe recipes or whatever, like, I thought it was gonna be recipes for like rare furniture or something. I didn't realize it was gonna be for like just axes. Honestly, if like, if you're that early in the game where you don't even have an axe recipe, just lock off this event because it does not take long to reach that point progress wise, you know? And then you can put some cool stuff in the DIY f recipes' place. Okay, we got a stone, we got a stick. Do we have a pair? No, not yet. We need that axe. Alright, I gotcha. Okay, so that's down. But if I want to access the crafting thingy... Oh, th so this is a really, really flimsy axe. So if I want to get to that tree... I gotcha. I should have one pair, right? No, I actually don't. And I can't find any if I go that way. See, I don't think you can break regular stones with axes, but maybe you can. I'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Unless I should go for those two pairs first? I think when and where you use the flimsy axe is the key to doing this puzzle correctly. I think you should do it here first. That way you can get access to a permanent axe as soon as you can, thus saving a ton of pairs. I hope this actually breaks the rock. Because my fear is that the axe will break and then the rock will stay. Fuck! You know, like that! Okay, 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 rescue service time. Yeah, that's definitely Rossetti's theme. Oh, hey, Appleman. Okay, so I do have to use it on a tree, but then that was the same tree that I did the first time, so it must be, like, I was told that I could get everything, but I think I might not get everything. As long as I can get those, um, bell tickets, that's my top priority. I am not interested in getting extra recipes. Wait, Rover's briefcase? So I get to keep this? It's a furniture item. What's it drop item. Maybe it's not? What does that mean? Maybe I can use it to summon him. Listen, as long as it takes, do you have any idea how many bells that's worth? That's for free. That's for nothing. I don't even gotta fuck with turnips for the, those kind of bells. That's like bridge money right there. I was able to get everything on the island? Right! 
That's what I've been told so far. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess you just have to use that flimsy axe on, on something else, because it's not going to work on that rock. You have to use it to access earlier pairs, or it doesn't work. And we got finals this week, so I won't be able to stay long. Oh, that's all right. Good luck on them. Okay, flimsy axe. Uh, I really don't want to make this concession, but I have no other choice. And that's another stone, so I can't come back here until I have pears. So I hop here, I hop here, and then I go all the way around. And then that ought to do it! Why is slow chat on? Is slow chat on? I'm pretty sure it isn't, unless that's something that it's did. Well, chop chop. But now it's gonna break. It's possible that there was a gap between when the worn axe broke and when I crafted a, a perfectly usable axe or something. That would be my guess. So I have to use one of these pairs on this rock. And I've got to find one more stick. Where am I going to find a stick? I need one more? Oh, fuck you. It's up there? Oh, I think that's what you were supposed to use the pear on, or the flimsy axe on. Oh, Rossetti! That's the missing piece. That's the key. Okay, well, everyone else in chat is saying that it's not on, so I don't know why that would be. Think it was just glitched? Okay. So who are the rangers? Are there other Rossettis out there? And how come you never get to see him? And Wilbur, stop laughing at me! If you replant the tree... You can shake it for another... No way, can you? That seems like a huge cheating ability, but okay. Like, that kind of just defeats the entire puzzle, but no complaints, I suppose. There exists some really interesting... Um, not hackers, but just people who are good at, like, glitching Animal Crossing in really specific ways to achieve, like, movement that should not be allowed. And I wonder if people like that would be able to use that to cheese this maze in any sort of way. I think it would be really interesting to see. Oh, you're using the Twitch app, which is terrible. Am I allowed to say that as an affiliate? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like it's on your end. I'm sorry to hear that, though. Although, chat is kind of slower than usual tonight, so maybe that's just the real chat tonight. Yeah, G Griffin, I don't get it. I thought you were, you were, people watched these streams. Yeah, Rover is just, like, walking around. I love that he, like, sat with his back turned to the camera the entire time. That was such a cool surprise. Backwards long jump and clip through over. Hey, it's more likely than you think. Also, I just now remembered what I need to do with the flimsy axe. I will not make this mistake twice. The sticks are insurance, but this is where I must take them. Okay, I think I did it right now. Do I have everything I need for the axe? I have a stone. I think I have enough for a flimsy axe, but I think I need the iron nugget before I can make the real one. Meaning I have to spend one more pair to get that done. 
I never used that little root along the top right. I guess I need to use a pair here anyways. Wait a second, do I need to use two pairs for this? I mean, yeah, you can't just make... So it forces you to get these recipe cards. Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna get the iron first, though. I gotta think about this really carefully. And a flimsy axe can't chop down a tree, so... I'll try to make do with the pairs that I have, but I want to make sure that I'm not using the shovel too much. Because otherwise that's trouble. You were reading someone's message from way after I Well, that could have just been stream delay. Or I just wasn't reading the chat for a while at the time. Okay, so break the rock. Grab the iron. And then, you get out of there! Love you, Rover. This is so sad that this is the, the only time you get to see him. I, I thought I was gonna like unlock him as like a regular in my town, and I was like really upset that, that that's not the case. I'm not even gonna pick those up. Unless I can use them to cut down a tree, it's not really in my interest. I've been in a huge Resident Evil mood lately. I feel like we were just talking about Halloween plans earlier tonight. I've never played a Resident Evil, and I know a new one just came out. I haven't heard very good things about it, but I think trying like one of the ones that everybody says is good might be a, an, inter an interesting idea for this October. Oh, I meant to say before, not after earlier? Okay, um, keep crafting. I need to make a real axe now. So I think by doing it this way, I've saved myself two pairs that I otherwise wouldn't have, which I think actually may give me an extra because I was, I had two out of three last time. And I think this might give me even more than that. Or maybe exactly three, I don't know. Because I see these two and I see that one, but I think these are the only remaining pairs. Which means I think I did this right so long as this ax doesn't break, but that's a big so long as. I think I did it right, I think. I don't see any stones left either, so as long as it's just trees. I always forget this bit. You have to go down on this one. Also, I might say fuck it and get those axe recipes anyways, if only so I can sell them for a few extra hundred bells. I got legged out, what about Halloween? Oh, uh, just that you mentioned Resident Evil, and we were talking about uh, Halloween streams earlier tonight. Which is, you know, way, a long ways away, but I don't know, could be a cool plan, because I've never played those games before. Chat, fellas, poggers, did we do it? Or should I say loggers, because we're chopping down all these trees. I missed you, Rover. Please come home. <laughs> I'm in ad mode right now. Oh, you hate to see it. And this is just from using the Twitch app? Jesus. Oh, and I guess I'll take one of these plants again because I don't have daisies yet. I only have like mums and wildflowers. Like a fucking casual. Rover reminds me of Prudence. I don't know. Who the hell is Prudence the cat? Rover reminds me of a friend because he's shaped like a friend. You know, I'm always talking about Apollo and how he's like my favorite villager, but I like Rover a lot too. And I think it, at, at a certain point in time, if you had asked me who my va favorite villager was, I probably would have said Rover. Or just who my favorite Animal Crossing character in, in general is, because he's not really a villager, but...
Zidaki's friend? I don't know who that is. What did you say about Halloween? Uh... What did I say? No, we were talking about the, the, the Tales doll, because that's what I did last Halloween. I played a bunch of Tales doll Flash games. And so playing the actual Sonic R could be a good idea for, for 2020. Because I believe was the original conversation. Hell yes! The tickets are mine! If only the Cat Boys were mine. <sighs> I mean, I have Raymond, but at what cost, you know? Wait a second, did I leave something behind? I've got nine of these. I think there's only nine. I think one's a group of four and one's a group of five. I've got a bunch of bushes. Probably should have moved those, but... Oh, right, the recipes. I said that I wanted to go back and get the recipes, because even if I already have... If I already know how to make an axe, I can at the very least, like, sell some of this stuff. Even if it's for a small amount, I'll take it. I can. I, I need everything that I can get, you know? Uh, is there anything else I can craft, maybe? For something that I can sell? Not really. Oh, this might be a bit of a walk to get back to Rover, though. Wait, okay, wait. Take this path, go around the corner, and then hop these three. Wait, no. Wait. Wait. Wait! Wait, what? No, okay, so you can't use that path. This does not help me get to Rover. So, what? I have to do... I have to go around this way. Counterclockwise. This must be fascinating from a designer perspective to do this in a way where there's, like, kind of only one way to solve it, you know? Like, that must take so much forethought to make something like this, you know? Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna try Resident Evil. Well, that's also what I was talking about. Because when you brought that up, I was like, this is gonna be a nightmare for the YouTube viewers because I'm explaining myself, like, several times in a row. When you said Resident Evil, I'm like, oh, that might be interesting to try next Halloween because we were just talking about what I should do next Halloween earlier tonight. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna take more of these with me, though, because... It's not like I can come back. It's not like I can put Rover in my pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to him one more time, though, when I'm done digging these all up, because it's, it's too soon to say goodbye. Residential villains. <laughs> I swear I was watching other streams earlier today, just fine, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I will readily admit that my shitty Canadian internet does result in quite a few frame drops, but I mean, I don't see anybody else in chat complaining that much, so, I don't know. House. Bad. Oh, I never thought... I don't know. I never thought about, like, the meaning of the two words Resident Evil put together, because it could mean a resident could be a person, a residence could be a place, you know, I think I'll hang out on this island a little longer. I like it here. I know another island that you might like a little bit more, Rover. We got a cool uniform. We got cool outfits that I think you might like. Maybe. Maybe you can come by and check it out. I mean, if you were to try a Resident Evil earlier, which one would you do? The remakes would be cool, but I don't think you have anything that could play- Oh, I'm not gonna fuck with those ones. Um, I don't know, people always say good things about 4, so I might do 4. That one's just on GameCube, right? And then there was a- Well, well Resident Evil 4 is on Switch, actually, isn't it? But wasn't there, like, a Wii port that had really good motion aiming and everybody said it improved the game? But then the Switch port doesn't have the gyro controls anymore, so now people are mad again? So I don't know what's considered, like, the definitive version of that game, but... I did it! And I- oop! Put the air brake on. Seems you have something on you these pilot's eyes have never seen before. Let me get this straight. You got it from someone who just happened to be hovering around this island? I didn't see anybody land here. This island's been deserted for 30 years. Rover's a ghost, that's why he's not in this game anymore. Well then, Dodo Airlines will probably deliver your prize to your home. What a dilly of a mayday tour, huh? Squawk the word and we'll wing you back to your home hangar. Oh, and if you're stuck, grounded, lost in a fo- what? I'm here to go home. 
Time to head home. Is that not what I just said? Yeah, okay. I don't know why we're having this conversation twice, but like worded differently. Not that there's much left on your checklist. Does that mean that we're leading Rover stranded here? Four has been ported to like a gorillion consoles. Yeah, okay. So I definitely got options then. That's good to know. And again, no rush. We'll see what the world looks like by October. If I have running water by October. If I have clean drinking water by October. <sighs> so does this stuff go immediately in my mailbox or do I have to wait a day? And also, why can't I keep it in my pocket? What's the point? Why even make a big deal out of it? Yeah, hold on, I have to connect to the internet to use the items that I already own. Okay, so what's this rover thing? A briefcase? Ooh. Well, um, Nook's Cranny is closed now, but... Oh. This is cute. Oh, that's awesome. I might actually keep this. Maybe I can give it to Raymond as a gift. But actually, Raymond doesn't appreciate my gifts, so maybe I'll just put it next to my desk. Do you have PS3 or Vita? Uh, no, I don't. Why do you ask? Yeah, does anybody have a Vita? Exactly. I feel like I was gonna put something here. It might have been the mirror, but then I rethought it and put it over here. But the briefcase... I think this could be a good spot for it. There we go. And I guess now we're back here, aren't we? Um, and I'll put these in storage. Wait, I don't get to keep the flowers or the bushes or anything? I don't have real daisies. That kind of sucks. But all right. That's okay, I guess. Uh, anyways... With that, that was Animal Crossing for tonight. Oh, Vita was how I played the original Resident Evil in Klonoa on PS1. Vita plays PS1 games? Well, not with the disc it's, but yeah, you can... I think the PSP was like this too, where you could like emulate older ones, kind of. Um, but I think the PS2... I have a fat PS2, so I think if you want me to play Klonoa 1, that would probably be how I do it. I don't know. Anyways, that was Animal Crossing for tonight. Thank you for watching. Coming up next is the Super Mario Maker 2 update. Uh, so with that, I'll be back in a bit. If you're interested in that, please hold.